Hello everyone! Today we will talk about how to identify broad mites and their damage. Damage often appears suddenly, with the newest growth affected on one or two plant species and is not widespread. Brat mites inject a toxin from their saliva as they feed. Leaves become twisted, hardened, brittle, and distorted. Sometimes you will see brown lower leaf surfaces. Young terminal buds can be killed, especially if high brat mites populations are present. Flowers can be distorted. Broad mite feeding prevents normal leaf expansion and causes downward puckering along the leaf edges. New Guinea impatiens, garden impatiens, begonia, dahlia, gerbia daisy, English ivy, and peppers are favorite hosts. Injury caused by broad mites can appear similar to herbicide injury, plant growth regulator overdoses, calcium or boron deficiencies, cold temperature injury, or several physiological disorders. This damage may persist long after the mites are gone. Broad mite has four life stages, including egg, larva, nymph, and adult. Females can lay up to 40 eggs during their less than two week lifespan. Broad mites are nearly impossible to see without a good 20x hand lens or under a dissecting microscope. The microscopic adult females are approximately 0.25 millimeters in size. The male is smaller, faster moving than the female, and have longer hind legs. They are colorless to pale brown, with a white stripe down the center of their backs. Adult females lay eggs on the underside of host plants' leaves. Brad my eggs are colorless, translucent, and elliptical in shape, but are covered by small whitish bumps that look like rows of diamonds. They are one of the key pieces of evidence when confirming a broad mite infestation. The larva emerges from the egg and starts feeding. The larvae are slow-moving and appear whitish. The larva becomes a new, that is clear and pointed at both ends. With magnification, you may be able to see male brat mites carrying female nymphs, which might be confused with a predatory mite feeding on a brat mite. The males account for much of the dispersal of a brat mite population in their frenzy to carry immature female larvae to the youngest leaves. Find more information in the description of this video.